Welcome back to another video. My name is Jimmy Reyes and I am a comic book inker. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade out texture. Well, all right, let's start fading away. Okay, let's start by creating that texture. Okay, so now that our texture is created, and uh, <laughs> wish I could create textures that fast, now we can go ahead and start adding our effect. I'm using the Dr. Martin Pen White, uh, which is basically just white ink, um, and the sponge that I'm using is an artist sponge, and it is a latex sponge. There's also natural sponges that have um, a different feel and different texture to them. Uh, and this one, you know, the, these are less expensive and they work very well. Um, and so now our poor little texture is starting to fade away. Goodbye texture. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm actually stamping in the, um, the sponge onto the white ink that I placed off to the side on the scrap piece of paper. And this allows me to apply the ink onto the sponge and uh, gives me the ability to control the amount of ink that I want on the sponge. And so then I dab it, it's kind of like making little stamps. And if you've been watching the series of videos that I've made demonstrating the different ways that you can use the artist sponge when inking comic books, um, it's wonderful um, the variety that you can get out of just this one tool. Um, I've used it to stamp on uh, patterns that look like trees. Um, the last video that I've made before this was a video on creating a smoke effect using the artist sponge. So today we're using that same sponge uh, with white ink over our pattern, our texture, and uh, we're going to go ahead and fade it out. And you can see around the edges, I'm starting to feather out the edges, um, just to show that you know you can fade the edges out if you want to feather it and, and sort of, or even create a like um, an ombre or or a, a, a gradient effect. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, I generally don't use. The feathering and the stamp inside uh, within the same uh, pattern um, but uh, there are times that I do so I thought I would show it in this demonstration um, how I uh, feather and use the stamp effect inside um, the pattern and uh, a texture is really just a pattern it's just a series of lines repeated over and over and, and same amount of spacing uh, and that that's really how you create um, textures you know if you just think of it as as a pattern and uh, so once I've got the, the pattern down and the texture then I've used the artist sponge and I've stamped over it the reason I stamped in the middle is to break it up create uh, to break up that texture and when it's uh, a liner scan scanned in in black and white then you really don't see the difference it's just solid black and white and it creates a wonderful effect let's go ahead now and take a look at an example and if you'd like the video uh, please subscribe The example that's shown here is actually a cover that um, I recently inked over David Finch. Uh, unfortunately, the, 
book's not out yet, so I can't um, show more than, than just the pattern here. Um, but it uh, was a lot of fun to ink, and um, I sort of, uh, you know, got a little bold and decided to add this pattern. And luckily, David really liked the effect. And thank you for watching this video. And you can follow me on Twitter.